All right. So um, today we want to make a small program. Uh, this program is just going to uh, simulate the behavior of a bouncing ball. So suppose if we have a a ball, a, a bouncing ball. So if we have a ball like this, and then we just want to make this ball when it's hit the ground it should bounce back okay so if we just uh, did a small model just a small model okay to see the behavior how it can be the, the behavior of this ball so this ball actually there is a some force acting towards the ground which is the gravity force right it is a gravity force and then also there is some kind of a drag force it depends on this ball actually okay and then it depends on if this ball is solid or just inside there inside the ball there is some liquid or some air or so but we're gonna do a very basic modeling here so we're going to neglect any other forces that uh, can act on this ball so we will only have a, a gravity force okay so we we'll only have a gravity force all right so this gravity force we can just do a small model actually the the we consider this ball just to be a solid this is a, just a solid ball and then this ground actually just also a solid ground which means that there is no much deformation okay when the ball hit the ground uh, there is no uh, much deformation okay so we're gonna show how we can model this so based on the uh, uh, based on the um, uh, equations we can just make a small equation we know that the force is just equal to the mass by the uh, acceleration right and then we know that because here we have Here we have only the gravity force, so um, I'm not sure that. Let me just drag this here to make it easy. Yes. So now we're gonna do like the force equals to m by g, right? Which means that if we assume that the g is constant, if we assume that the g is 9.8, okay, which means that. Uh, g is just equal to f over m right so it's just very basic very simple okay so now we know that where is my ball so now we know that uh, the gravity here is just a constant which is just 9.8 what else that we can uh, do actually we need the velocity right we need to know what is the speed of this ball with respect of the time and the velocity is just equal to dv over uh, we can find the velocity by saying that all right so dv over dt is just equal to the acceleration right which means that dv over dt is just equal to f over m which is here right we already say that the gravity is just equal to or the acceleration is just equal to the force over the mass or the over the mass all right so just let me bring my ball here all right so now we just uh, we going to solve this differential equation okay this is a, just a, a small differential equation and um, uh, luckily it's just uh, uh, easily to do so we have here dv is just equal to f over m by dt right isn't it yeah so just multiplying t dt by both sides and uh, guess what here the actually the m is a constant isn't it okay so dv is just equal to f over say 1 over m dt right okay what is the force here we know that the force that acts on this 
uh, ball is just the gravity force which means that f here is just equal m by g all right so uh, magically dv is just equal to uh, f by g right sorry it's not f by g it's just m by g let me just erase this it's m by uh, g over m dt isn't it so m with m gone and then uh, dv is just equal to g uh, just equal to g dt isn't it so now we just going to simply take the integration of the both sides so the integration of dv is just equal to the gravity which is constant right so the gravity is just a constant so we can take the constant outside the integration sign and then we can do like this right so here we will have v okay so the integration of dv is just v is equals to g by t magically so now let us do this so now we know that the acceleration equals to the gravity equals to 9.8 magically and then we know here the velocity is just equal to the gravity by the time now we need a small thing which is the displacement I just uh, noted displacement with a theta okay or a theta so how we can get the theta with the same principle but let us see how how we can model this basically uh, the uh, displacement okay uh, let us just return to this drawing which is the displacement that we want to calculate is just equal to the uh, 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 vertical displacement right we don't want to calculate any horizontal displacement just a vertical displacement right so which is like uh, noted with X if we just uh, draw a frame so this is a frame and here we have a y axis and here we have a x axis so which means that we want to calculate the displacement on the x axis right so let us see here so we can say that the uh, uh, the uh, let us say that the d theta d square theta over dt which is equal to the acceleration right and then we have the d theta over dt is just equal to the velocity magically right so what we can do here we can just uh, 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 substitute right so uh, basically we can say that all right so I don't want to uh, use sorry this is a square here I don't want to use the square um, uh, differentiation here I just I will do the uh, the order one differentiation which is d theta over dt which is just equal to v right so i would gonna i'm gonna to substitute here so it's just equal to the gravity force by t magically right so simply i can do the same trick which is here uh, the gravity is just a constant right so let us say that the d theta is just equals to the gravity multiplied by the time multiplied by the dt right simply so here the time is not a constant but the g is a constant so basically we can say that the differential the uh, integration of the d theta is just equal to the the integration of g outside the integration sign uh, with t dt right so this is simply the integration of t dt is just a t square over t right simply and then we have some constant here which I will just neglect I will not use this C here okay I will just neglect it's a simple math I don't want to make it a complicated so just equals to here a theta voila and then here we have the G don't forget the G so which means that the theta here is just or the let us say this is just a um, a displacement or the vertical displacement so this is just a vertical displacement just equal to t square over 2 by g voila now we have the following so now we have the acceleration of the ball which is equal to the gravity which is equal to 9.8 no, 
9.8, right? So now the velocity is just equals to the gravity multiplied by the time, right? And then lastly, we have the uh, vertical displacement, which just equals to the gravity, I think, multiplied by the t square. And let me just remember over 2, okay? So 2 square over 2. Now we are now we can just uh, do a, f a simple uh, program that just do the following but you know what there is some missing information now let us return here when this ball hit the ground it should return back right it should bounce back it should bounce maybe it bounce like in this way or it just in this way or it can bounce vertically right at the same angle here if we if we say that this angle is just a 90 90 degree now we got just gonna make it very simple because there's a lot a lot a lot of math behind modeling a ball there is a rotational coefficients and there is some here there is some vibration and what so I'm just I'm gonna make it very 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 simple I'm I'm gonna assume that this ball gonna hit the ground it's going to deform a little bit and then it's going to bounce back at the same angle so it, it doesn't um, bounce at this angle or at this angle it's just a vertical right so at, at a 90 degree so how are we gonna do this actually um, I think about it um, uh, offline and I came just with this uh, simple solution um, a simple solution let us just return back and do our um, a circle here and then let us assume that this line is just the ground right now let us assume that this ball has an energy okay so every body has an energy right there is some energy uh, sorry, some energy uh, like came from the movement of the body and then there is some energy uh, when the body is just for for example in higher place and what so on right so we assume that this this ball now it has a vertical displacement theta it has a velocity v and it has an acceleration so the let us say that the uh, movement energy let us just say it's me or me it's equal to as we know half multiplied by the uh, actually uh, the math the mass of the ball and multiplied by the velocity square right which means that the more velocity we gain the more energy we gain but uh, unfortunately when this ball hit the ground like this they're going to be like a sound right like this right when the when the ball hit the ground it's going to lose the energy in form of heat and in form of sound so here there is some dissipation right in form of heat and in form of sound and what so right maybe if this ball it's not designed well some particles of the ball going to just cracked right or some just breaking or something like this right so we, we will assume that this ball is ideal this land or this ground is just an ideal and then there is no any like um, too much deformation also so we will assume that when this ball hit the ground it will lose some energy right when it's bouncing back which means that if we assume here the vertical distance here it's just say for example it's just a five meters all right so when it's bound the ball it's maybe it will hit maybe it will lose some energy and then it will bounce back and then it will reach for example four meters and then it will come back down to the ground with the same uh, gravity force and then bounce back again for example at a three meter and then again hit the ground and again and again and again until it will lose the energy when the energy is just equal to zero so guys I'm, I'm going to show you a simple program that I did which is just simulate the behavior of this bouncing ball I'm going to show you it's just a C++ program and I'm just uh, I just include the open CV to make it uh, uh, simply a uh, a visual program or we have we will have some kind of animation here 
so basically um, I'm just defining a lot of things here this is just a this is a vertical displacement but it just uh, 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 towards the ground and then this is the vertical displacement but it's just uh, after the bouncing back and then here this is the energy the movement energy and then this is the ground the mass and we have a small uh, constant I, um, I will not uh, discuss this one okay because there's a lot of things here behind this so um, we have the initial velocity and vinyl velocity also there's because when we lose the energy there's a lot of calculation we will do actually but uh, I want to show you that I have uh, two uh, loops here the one the first loop it's for the uh, falling state I call it the falling state and the other loop the it's just a bouncing state when when the um, when the displacement uh, actually the vertical displacement is just equal to the ground which means, means that the ball hit the ground okay so when the ball hit the ground it just will return back it will just go to start and then it will just return back to the while loop and then it will go here and then it will just lose the bar lose bar, lose the bar uh, uh, until it just reach a, a zero energy now let me just show you this uh, demo uh, I'm just uh, sorry for not preparing um, where is my let me see my history because I'm very lazy. Okay, okay. So simply, I just did this program too much. Um, I'm just searching for yeah this one. All right. So I'm just searching for this one. So copy paste yeah as a lazy program. Uh, yeah, start. So. Now it asks me to do this to enter the mass, which means that the bouncing here. Let us return back here. The bouncing will depends on the mass of this ball, right? So let us uh, say that we have a ball of the mass one. Okay, so hit one, enter, and as you can see, it's just bouncing back with the one kilogram. Okay, so this is a bouncing ball with just a one kilogram. Let us do it again. Uh, let us just do it uh, again simply okay so doing this and then hitting one you see the the ball bounce and then it just for the first time it just return here at this state and then bounce and bounce okay now let us try to say if we have a 500 kilogram what what kind of uh, repulsion or just bouncing behavior we should have so now it's just sorry sorry is Okay, let me just first run the program and then hit 500 kilograms. Now see, the bouncing is just a little, right? So which means that the more, the heavier the ball, the lesser the, the bouncing effect, right? So it's simply, if we say that we have a 1,000 kilograms, how uh, the behavior of the ball? So just enter, you see, no much bouncing, which means that it's totally the mass depends on the uh, uh, the bouncing uh, effect depends on the mass so uh, actually thank you for listening